Today we have the lovely UK music star, Miss Terry Walker. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Quite young, right? Yes, yes. And um, how would you describe your personal development from then until now in 2013? Oh my goodness, growth. I've grown a lot. I've been through a lot of stuff, and um, yeah. I've, I, you know, I've seen a lot. And, but I really, I'm glad that I've gone through everything that I've gone through because mm -hmm. now I really appreciate what it is to be on stage, what it is to be an artist, what it is to write songs, what it is to touch other people. You know, so yeah. um, I would describe it as um, pretty amazing, pretty lucky, pretty blessed and something that I'm going to keep carrying doing, you know, I mean, I see myself still growing, so it hasn't stopped really. Um, the funny thing is, lately, because it's like a collaboration project, and yeah. we did it with Truth and Soul, I don't know if you know who they are, but they did um, Aloe Black, you I know, know, I know, I know the color. Yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they produced that whole album, so, okay. and obviously they've been sampled by a lot of people like Jay-Z and, mm -hmm. and J. Cole and stuff like that, so whatever they do. So big. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. <laughs> but, but they're understated big, which is cool, because they're kind of like, you know, they're big, but they keep themselves quite in the background, and I'm kind yeah. of quite similar in that sense where, you, you hear me more than you'd see me. Yeah. Because I like to be more about, I want you to hear the voice, the lyrics, and the music more than worrying about, oh, look at me, do you know what I mean? And I think, um, when we did Lady, the guys came up, because we were going to call it Walker Ray, because I don't know if you know, guys know who Nicole Ray is. Do you remember Nicole Ray? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nicole Ray, look, she's amazing. She used to be Missy Elliott back in the day, so. Mm -hmm. She's like, why are you all in my crown? Do you remember that song? No. She's like, damn it! She said, you know, I know you. Know. The camera person, I'll be like, like, yeah, yeah. no, but basically, she is, one of the most amazing singers to me ever. Like, like people like Beyonce, I'll say we love the Ray, Do you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's how much she's been. You are you are my because it's like singing with myself like we've both got wow. quite a, the same um history because okay. we were both signed to Def Jam around the same time yeah we both kind of left the label around the same time we mm. both went for a little break in the sense of just being around family and friends and you know everything that she's gone through I've gone through mm -hmm. but on the other side of the world which is kind of crazy you know what I mean so working with her when we sing together Without even thinking about it, we just blend in the right yeah. way and it just works, you know, so... It's nice to work with you. Yes! It's easy to work with you. <laughs> so during your musical journey, you know, you've had your fair share of ups and downs, obstacles that you've experienced, like everyone else yeah. does in that industry, from poor management as well. Yes. Because you probably a lot of poor management. <sighs> oh. What has helped you stay consistent? Because you've come back with a bang, you're here today, you're performing, you're headlining your solo QC, mm, which is mm, amazing. Mm. What has helped you to be consistent and determined to carry on? Do you know what? Staying positive yeah. and having positive people around you that tell you the truth, that yeah. want you to grow, mm. that love you, do you know what I mean? That you love as well, and just keeping, keeping yourself grounded. Don't get too caught up in all the glitz and glamour of things, you know? Really do it because you love it. And yeah. for me, because I love it, I think that's what kept it safe for me. I think if I didn't love it, I probably wouldn't be doing it right now, because there's a lot that goes on to do this, you know? So. Yeah. And it's just understanding endurance and just and realise that you're that you're always gonna keep growing. You don't ever stop growing. Even when you're fifty you're gonna still grow. So that's what I'd say. Sometimes I see what they see. See they 